The Third Book of Enoch The Book of Noah Chapter 1 The Birth of Noah And after some days my son Methuselah took a wife, for his son Lamech, and she became pregnant by him and bore a son. And his body was white as snow and red as the blooming of a rose, and the hair of his head and his long locks were white as wool, and his eyes beautiful. And when he opened his eyes, he lighted up the whole house like the sun, and the whole house was very bright. And thereupon he arose in the hands of the midwife, opened his mouth, and conversed with the Lord of Righteousness. And his father Lamech was afraid of him, and fled, and came to his father Methuselah. And he said unto him, I have begotten a strange son, diverse from an unlike man, and resembling the sons of the God of heaven. And his nature is different, and he is not like us, and his eyes are as the rays of the sun, and his countenance is glorious. And it seems to me that he is not sprung from me, but from the angels. And I fear that in his days a wonder may be wrought on the earth. And now, my father, I am here to petition thee and implore, thee that thou mayest go to Enoch our father, and learn from him the truth, for his dwelling place is amongst the angels. And when Methuselah heard the words of his son, he came to me too, the ends of the earth. For he had heard that I was there, and he cried aloud, and I heard his voice, and I came to him. And I said unto him, Behold, here am I, my son, wherefore hast thou come to me? And he answered and said, Because of a great cause of anxiety have I come to thee, and because of a disturbing vision have I approached. And now, my father, hear me, unto Lamech, my son there hath been born a son, the like of whom there is none, and his nature is not like man's nature, and the colour of his body is whiter than snow and redder than the bloom of a rose, and the hair of his head is whiter than white wool. And his eyes are like the rays of the sun, and he opened his eyes and thereupon lighted up the whole house, and he arose in the hands of the midwife, and opened his mouth and blessed the Lord of heaven. And his father Lamech became afraid and fled to me, and did not believe that he was sprung from him but that he was in the likeness of the angels of heaven. And behold, I have come to thee that thou mayest make known to me the truth. And I, Enoch, answered and said unto him, The Lord will do a new thing on the earth, and this I have already seen in a vision, and make known to thee that in the generation of my father Jared some of the angels of heaven transgressed the word of the Lord. And behold, they commit sin and transgress the law, and have united themselves with women and commit sin with them, and have married some of them, and have begot children by them. And they shall produce on the earth giants not according to the spirit, but according to the flesh. And there shall be a great punishment on the earth, and the earth shall be cleansed from all impurity. Yea, there shall come a great destruction over the whole earth, and there shall be a deluge and a great destruction for one year. And this son who has been born unto you shall be left on the earth, and his three children shall be saved with him, when all mankind that are on the earth shall die, he and his sons shall be saved. And now make known to thy son Lamech that he who has been born is in truth his son, and call his name Noah, for he shall be left to you, and he and his sons shall be saved from the destruction which shall come upon the earth on account of all the sin and all the unrighteousness which shall be consummated on the earth in his days. And after that there shall be still more unrighteousness than that which was first consummated on the earth. For I know the mysteries of the holy ones, for he the Lord has showed me and informed me, and I have read in the heavenly tablets. And I saw written on them that generation upon generation shall transgress till a generation of righteousness arises, and transgression is destroyed, and sin passes away from the earth, and all manner of good comes upon it. And now, my son, go and make known to thy son, Lamech, that this son which has been born, is in truth his son, and that is no lie. And when Methuselah had heard the words of his father, Enoch, for he had shown to him everything in secret, he returned and showed to him and called the name of that son Noah, for he will comfort the earth after all the destruction. Chapter 2 Calling Enoch And in those days Noah saw the earth that it had sunk down and its destruction was nigh, and he arose from thence and went to the ends of the earth and cried aloud to his grandfather Enoch. Noah said three times with an embittered voice, Hear me, hear me, hear me. And I said unto him, Tell me what it is that is falling out on, 
The earth that the earth is in such evil plight and shaken, lest perchance I shall perish with it. And thereupon there was a great commotion, on the earth and a voice was heard from heaven and I fell on my face. And Enoch my grandfather came and stood by me, and said unto me, Why hast thou cried unto me with a bitter cry and weeping? A command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord, concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is, accomplished because they have learnt all the secrets of the angels, and all the violence of the Satans, and all their powers, the most secret ones. And all the power of those who practice sorcery, and the power of witchcraft, and the power of those who make molten images, for the whole earth, and how silver is produced from the dust of the earth, and how soft metal originates in the earth. For lead and tin are not produced from the earth like the first, it is a fountain that produces them, and an angel stands therein, and that angel is preeminent. And after that my grandfather Enoch took hold of me by my hand, and raised me up and said unto me, Go, for I have asked the Lord of spirits as touching this commotion on the earth. And he said unto me, Because of their unrighteousness their judgment has been determined upon, and shall not be withheld by me for ever. Because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learnt, the earth and those who dwell upon it shall be destroyed. And these they have no place of repentance for ever, because they have shown them what was hidden, and they are the damned. But as for thee, my son, the Lord of spirits knows that thou art pure, and guiltless of this reproach concerning the secrets. And he has destined thy name to be among the holy, and will preserve thee amongst those who dwell on the earth, and has destined thy righteous seed both for kingship and for great honours, and from thy seed shall proceed a fountain of the righteous and holy without number for ever. And after that he showed me the angels of punishment, who are prepared to come and let loose all the powers of the waters which are beneath in the earth in, order to bring judgment and destruction on all who dwell on the earth. And the Lord of Spirits gave commandment to the angels, who were going forth that they should not cause the waters to rise, but should hold them in check. For those angels were over the powers of the waters. And I went away from the presence of Enoch. Chapter 3 Judgment of Angels And in those days the word of God came unto me, and he said unto me, Noah, thy lot has come up before me, a lot without blame, a lot of love and uprightness. And now the angels are working, and when they have completed their task, I will place my hand upon it and preserve it, and there shall come forth from it the seed of life, and a change shall set in so that the earth will not remain without inhabitant. And I will make fast thy seed before me for ever and ever, and I will spread abroad those who dwell with thee. It shall not be unfruitful on the face of the earth, but it shall be blessed and multiply on the earth in the name of the Lord. And he will imprison those angels who have shown unrighteousness in that burning valley which my grandfather Enoch had formerly shown to me in the west among the mountains of gold and silver and iron and soft metal and tin. And I saw that valley in which there was a great convulsion and a convulsion of the waters. And when all this took place from that fiery molten metal, and from the convulsion thereof in that place, there was produced a smell of sulphur, and it was connected with those waters. And that valley of the angels who had led, astray burned beneath that land. And through its valleys proceed streams of fire where these angels are, punished who had led astray those who dwell upon the earth. But those waters shall in those days serve for the kings and the mighty and the exalted, and those who dwell on the earth for the healing of the body, but for the punishment of the spirit. Now their spirit is full of lust, that they may be punished in their body. For they have denied the Lord of spirits and see their punishment daily, and yet believe not in his name. And in proportion, as the burning of their bodies becomes severe, a corresponding change shall take place in their spirit for ever and ever. For before the Lord of spirits none shall utter an idle word. For the judgment shall come upon them because they believe in the lust of their body and deny the spirit of the Lord. And those same waters will undergo a change in those days. For when those angels are punished in these waters, these water springs shall change their temperature. And when the angels ascend, this water of the springs shall change and become cold. And I heard Michael answering and saying, 
This judgment wherewith the angels are judged is a testimony for the kings and the mighty who possess the earth, because these waters of judgment minister to the healing of the body of the kings and the lust of their body. Therefore they will not see and will not believe that those waters will change and become a fire which burns forever. Chapter 4 Secrets of the Parables And after that my grandfather Enoch gave me the teaching of all the secrets in the book in the parables which had been given to him, and he put them together for me in the words of the book of the parables. And on that day Michael answered Raphael and said, The power of the Spirit transports and makes me to tremble because of the severity of the judgment of the secrets, the judgment of the angels. Who can endure the severe judgment which has been executed, and before which they melt away? And Michael answered again and said to Raphael, Who is he whose heart is not softened concerning it, and whose reins are not troubled by this word of judgment that has gone forth upon them because of those who have thus led them out? And it came to pass when he stood before the Lord of Spirits, Michael said thus to Raphael, I will not take their part under the eye of the Lord, for the Lord of Spirits has been angry with them because they do as if they were the Lord. Therefore all that is hidden shall come upon them for ever and ever, for neither angel nor man shall have his portion, but alone they have received their judgment for ever and ever. And after this judgment they shall terrify and make them to tremble because they have shown this to those who dwell on the earth. And behold the names of those angels, the first of them is Samjaza, the second Artakifa, and the third Amen, the fourth Kokabel, the fifth Turael, the sixth Rumjal, the seventh Danjal, the eighth Nekael, the ninth Barakel, the tenth Azazel, the eleventh Armoros, the twelfth Batajal, the thirteenth Busasajal, the fourteenth Hananel, the fifteenth Turel, and the sixteenth Simapesiel, the seventeenth Jetrel, the eighteenth Tumael, the nineteenth Turel, the twentieth Rumael, the twenty-first Azazel. And these are the chiefs of their angels and their names, and their chief ones over hundreds and over fifties and over tens, the name of the first Jekon, that is, the one who led astray the sons of God, and brought them down to the earth, and led them astray through the daughters of men. And the second was named Aspiel. He imparted to the holy sons of God evil counsel, and led them astray so that they defiled their bodies with the daughters of men. And the third was named Gadriel. He it is who showed the children of men all the blows of death, and he led astray Eve, and showed the shield and the coat of mail, and the sword for battle, and all the weapons of death to the children of men. And from his hand they have proceeded against those who dwell on the earth from that day and for evermore. And the fourth was named Penemu. He taught the children of men the bitter and the sweet, and he taught them all the secrets of their wisdom. And he instructed mankind in writing with ink and paper, and thereby many sinned from, eternity to eternity, and until this day. For men were not created for such a purpose, to give confirmation to their good faith with pen and ink. For men were created exactly like the angels, to the intent that they should continue pure and righteous, and death, which destroys everything, could not have taken hold of, than but through this their knowledge they are perishing, and through this power it is consuming men. And the fifth was named Kasdasia. This is he who showed the children of men all the wicked smithings of spirits and demons and the smitings of the embryo in the womb that it may pass away and the bites of the serpent and the smitings which befall through the noontide heat the son of the serpent named Tabayet. And this is the task of Kasbil, the chief of the oath which he showed to the holy ones when he dwelt high, above in glory, and its name is Bika. This angel requested Michael to show him the hidden name, that he might enunciate it in the oath, so that those might quake before that name and oath, who revealed all that was in secret to the children of men. And this is the power of this oath, for it is powerful and strong, and he placed this oath, Akai, in the hand of Michael. These are the secrets of this oath, and they are strong through his oath. The heaven was suspended before, the world was created and forever and through it the earth was founded upon the water and from. The secret recesses of the mountains come beautiful waters, from the creation of the world and unto eternity. And through that oath the sea was created, and as its foundation he, 
set for it the sand against the time of anger, and it dare not pass, beyond it from the creation of the world unto eternity. And through that oath are the depths made fast and abide, and stir not from their place from eternity to eternity. And through that oath the sun and moon complete their course, and deviate not from their ordinance from eternity to eternity. And through that oath the stars complete their course, and he calls them by their names, and they answer him from eternity to eternity. And this oath is mighty over them, and through it their paths are preserved, and their course is not destroyed. And there was great joy amongst them, and they blessed and glorified and extolled because the name of that Son of Man had been revealed unto them. And he sat on the throne of his glory, and the sum of judgment was given unto the Son of Man, and he caused the sinners to pass away and be destroyed from off the face of the earth, and those who have led the world astray. With chains shall they be bound, and in their assemblage, place of destruction shall they be imprisoned, and all their works vanish from the face of the earth, and from henceforth there shall be nothing corruptible. For that Son of Man has appeared and has seated himself on the throne of his glory. All evil shall pass away before his face, and the word of that Son of Man shall go forth and be strong before the Lord of Spirits.